Okay, so welcome back, Spidey fans. So we're going to be um, pursuing the crime scene things. I think I know what the two locked is. I think when you do the crime scene, it unlocks the side mission. You definitely unlock the side mission when you finish the screwball ones. Um, and then there's one locked over there. I think that's the screwball one over there. Maybe. We'll see. And the other one's going to be for when you do the base. When you finish the bases, because you unlock the David ones. Yeah, that's what all three are. So let's do all the side content stuff. Hey, it's you know Miles again. Out. Glad to hear it. What's up? I've been listening to the police radio, and there's stuff happening all over the city, like constantly. Pretty overwhelming, isn't it? How do you do it? I mean, you can't be everywhere at once. Remember what May used to say. You help someone, you help everyone. Yeah. But I never really understood what she meant. Okay. You know that lady that came in to feast the other day with her two kids? The one who just got evicted? Yeah. After she found a job and was about to move into her new place, she told me, as soon as I get my first paycheck, I'm sending as much as I can back to the shelter. So we helped her, and now she wants to help others. Helping is like a force multiplier. Exactly. May was pretty great, wasn't she? The greatest. I'm gonna send you an address as soon as I'm done with all this, so stay ready. And bring those web shooters with you. Finally! It's kind of cool listening to it build up, because we didn't really expect Miles Morales' second game to come out. Hmm, mystery person's calling card. Another police report, and another audio recorder. This looks familiar. I think it's the last known location of a Magia informant who disappeared a few months ago. I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. I think we should end the session. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean to scare you. I've just been paranoid lately. Like I said, stressful job. Okay. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about your job. Describe a typical day. Mm. Typical day. Guess it starts with waking up, checking my phone, see what the boss wants me to hit that day. Then I go grab breakfast. I've been trying to do that keto thing, you know? Then I do the hits. Sometimes it's messy, so I gotta head home and clean up. I try to get to the gym in the afternoon, and dinner, and I... Sorry, um, can you go back for a moment? What does do a hit mean exactly? It means I kill who my boss tells me to. I'm pretty good at it by now. Got quite the resume. <laughs> this guy sounds like a Magia enforcer. Feels like this is just part of the story. I should keep an eye out for more scenes like this. Now, I can't remember if the story... I know who the story ultimately is about. Um, but I can't remember if the particular conversation between those two is the hitman doing a hit on the doctor. Or the doctor setting up the hitman. I think he's yeah. I think the doctor's working for somebody. For the person who this is ultimately about. I think that's what it's about. But we will get there. We will get there soon. It would have been nice if we could do a bit of Batman-y detective stuff. You know, piecing together a crime scene. That'd have been fun. I should be close. There we go. Setting up these scenes really likes the color yellow. Hear what the recorder has to say. So what do you? Dang, Doc. Well, clinically, you're a sociopath. You have no remorse for your actions. You clearly are not stressed. I doubt you think there's actually anything wrong with you. So, why did you really 
come see me today. <laughs> You're smart. I like that. Okay, let's get right to it then. You do what I tell you, and I won't kill your family. Wow. You want to get right to it? Okay then. I know why you're really here. I knew who you were the minute you walked in that door. And I also know that before I do anything for you, you're gonna do something for me. Well, that took a turn. These crime scenes all feel like covers for Magia hits. And if the guy on the tape is a Magia enforcer, maybe he's the one who killed all these people. J. Jonah. Are flying in about an incident in Midtown involving, you guessed it, Spider-Man. Spider it's the same old story, same old menace. But here's a terrifying little wrinkle. My sources tell me that the Magia crime boss Hammerhead is now gone, and I quote, full cyborg. First we have robotic cyborg. and now a mecha Magia? Ugh. Whatever happened to the good old days when criminals would just put on a dime store mask, stick their finger in their pocket, and try to rob a bank? All right, Spider-Man happened. Magia have disrupted a shipment of Sable equipment. Location is Lower Chinatown. On the way. My unit. Now why would Hammerhead goons be trying to get into that Oscorp truck? I've got people coming to help me. I liked you guys better when you were in the waste management business. Ah. They called it back up. Somebody call for backup. Can you guys tell the next bunch to bring some snacks? Getting a little hungry. Stay back, please. Guys on his payroll. Ah, come on. Oh, my God. on my humility. Okay. Thank you. I think I need to look into a career change. Spider-Man. I think we'll go and do the crime scene. While we're waiting for our got to recharge all our gadgets. Ah! <laughs> 
That could have been badly. There we go. So everything's coming up, Spider-Man. Nice Spider-Man. We're all charged. Okay. Wait for suit power to recharge. So we're going to need that more than likely. Better take a closer look. Lots of police tape and equipment at these scenes. Whoever is doing this must have access to this stuff. I wonder who. Someone fell to their death. We know this person life. well throughout the game. Accident. But was it? On the last recording, the therapist turned the tables on the Magia guy. Welcome back. Have a seat. So, did you bring the, um... <laughs> Hope this takes care of your cash flow problem. Right. It most certainly does. Thank you. So, I assume you came to me because I have a few police officers as clients. You assume correct. But my boss and I are only interested in one of them. And who might that be? Captain Yuri Watanabe. Yuri? How is she mixed up in this? I'm afraid of where this story is going. I have to keep following it. Okay. Okay, let's screwball. Guess it's time to swing the band hammer. Hope you warmed up because we are live. Not going back inside. We're trending. Keep it up, SM. The comets are blowing up. We want more bomb bombs. Man.
Easy, mate. I'd done that well in school. And now to the judges' scorecards. <gasps> Tens across the board. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, air launch attacks. Oh, what is that? <laughs> is that just to hit them up in the air one? A hundred hit combo. Oh my. Oh, right, okay, that'll be easy. The 100 hit combo, however. I'll have to get a bit lucky with that one. to his hideout must be somewhere close by. Huh, must be underground. <laughs> Guess it's time for some urban space. Hi, David. I'm at one of the hideouts. I'm surprised Sable had you working alone on this. I resigned from Sable International in order to ensure the supplies made it to some carrier. Guess she's a true mercenary at heart. Even choosing weapons over aid for her own people. Sable is more than a mercenary. Trust me. Anyway, let me know if you find those supplies, and thank you. Great patrolling, but I do have notes. home country, Simcaria. Well, the Simcarian government has been consolidating power for over a decade. They are now effectively a dictatorship. The opposition party, led by the Sablinova family, was either exiled or executed. Simcaria has been in civil war ever since. Meanwhile, the civilians are caught in the middle, with nowhere to escape and nowhere to go in their trip. So Sable might have lost some of her family in the conflict. Yes, the conflict in Simcaria is Personal to her than she would ever There we go, Dom. If I had a nickel for every time I heard that. Wait, do they even make nickels anymore? Uh, as soon as I finish here, I'm gonna look that up. Stay out of our business. Yeah. Come on! 
Oh man. Was not the one I was aiming for. I'm stuck. Oh, I've got close there. Okay, there's one more guy. Got a bit sloppy at the end. Now to find the supply cache for David. Okay. So, over here. Since it pointed me over here. This must be the cache of humanitarian aid. That was surprise. Come on, man. Hi, David. I recovered some of your supplies. Sending you the location now. Thank you, Spider-Man. I will get there as fast as I can. Great. And if it helps, I have a couple police contacts. I can ask them to help you out if... Oh, no, no, no. That will not be necessary. I have it under control. See, that's Thank what you. made me suspicious huh. of him. Alrighty. But I think he is a good guy. Crap, I'm late for work. See, I'm now I'm fighting. suspicious again. Though I was pretty sure before. I'm just going to mumble away to myself. The mumbler. That's what my wife calls me. Amongst other things, less kind things. Woo gotta be somewhere nearby. Another setup for me.
Not really, but I thought it'd be up at the top. There it is. Another file and recorder. Police ruled this a suicide, but Yuri had her doubts. The victim was part of Hammerhead's crime family. In the last recording, they talked about getting Yuri's mental health record. Here's Captain Montanabe's file. Hmm. This is everything. Yes. You ever record her sessions? No, I never record any sessions. That'd be unethical and illegal. Well, we'd like you to record the next session. And my boss has a list of questions he'd like you to ask. That gonna be a problem for you? No, no, no problem. I feel like I shouldn't be listening to these. And yet I can't stop. Okay. Hang on, what do you mean I'm missing a landmark? Um, that doesn't make any sense. Seems that whoever left these wasn't satisfied with what the police concluded. No, see, I'm not missing a landmark. Weird. Okay, so we've got two more crimes. All got on this base. 95 hit combo. Jeez, man, and dodge unders. Oh, we've still got the bio mesh. Yeah. So not mark it. You gotta stop, guys. Dude up there. Time to die here. <sighs> okay. I'm moving rocket proof suit to the top of my to do list. Good Lord. Five hit combo. Police could use my help. Make sure you're buckled up because it's about to get a little rough. Everybody out.
Complete. Sable's gonna be happy I got her stuff back. Actually, she won't be happy. She'll be just... Oh, I never hear the end of that one, do I? Because I'm always off. Off busy. Too busy to talk. Too busy Spider-Man in. The entrance to his hideout must be somewhere close by. That's my way in. 95 hit combo. Jeez, and some dodder hunters. Hi, David. Just found another hammerhead hideout. Please, be careful. I will. So, what happens when we get all the caches? Put some stamps on them and celebrate at Eddie's Pizza? <laughs> Eddie's, yes. I will miss that place. He's not going out of business, is he? Please tell me he's not. <laughs> no, no. It's just... It's nothing. And do not worry about shipping. I will take care of it when the time comes. Okay. Humanitarian aid and nobody gets a foot sandwich.
guys are super late to the party. We already broke the pinata and everything. Yeah. Again, got a bit sloppy at the end, but Done. the hard guys turn up later. Now, where are those supplies for David? <laughs> Over here, by any chance? Something to do with pulling a subway car out of the way or something. Sure it has. Oh, there we go. Or just pulling a wall down. There they are. Okay, David. Found a bunch more supplies here. I'll send you the location. You are doing a great thing. Each supply cache could save hundreds of some carrion lives. Why Simcaria, if you don't mind me asking? I merely wish to help the children of Simcaria, as I once failed to help those who relied on me most. Thank you again for finding those supplies. I will come by to get them soon. Huh. Sounds like David's carrying around a little guilt. Like most of us, I guess. Okay. Closer. I hope whoever's leaving these has a good reason. I remember Yuri saying this was ruled an accidental death. Food poisoning, I think. All of these reports are from the last year or so. But last month, Yuri assigned herself to all of these cases. Was Yuri the one who left all those recordings? Okay, Yuri, let's move on. Have your obsessive thoughts about the suspect continued? Yes. Sometimes I feel like I've almost got him. And sometimes I feel like I'll never get him. Are you doing your breathing exercises? Trying to. But? I know who he is. I know where he is. And I know what he's done. But I can't do anything. Not without legally admissible evidence. That must be frustrating. You have no idea. Seems like Yuri's hunch is that the guy on the tape is the guy that killed all these people. I think she might be right.
Oh, okay. Not necessary. I think I'm close. And there's the trademark yellow. The recorder must be around here somewhere. I remember this. A person and got electrocuted accidentally, but the victor's on the last one. Yuri sounded frustrated. You have no idea. That's it? Yes. I mean, we talked a little bit about her medication, but... When is the next session? Why? What are you going to do? I'm gonna do whatever my boss does, man, though. Oh no! Are they setting up a hit on Yuri? Gotta get to those other locations! Okay, ready? I need to track down those bombs before they go off. takes the silver in the crazy psycho olympics okay so just the side missions there two hammerhead crimes here so let's go here to start with in fact, I think we'll pick the rest up on the next episode. So thank you for watching. Take care and see you next time.